Let's be real, it's been a while since USB-C started being introduced into the mobile tech space. At the start, with the scarcity of it, I was turned off by the standard, but in 2020, it's embarrassing if your tech product doesn't come with USB-C. The idea of a truly universal connector that carries everything from power to the display to network to data is brilliant. Type-C, in particular, is reversible. It's robust, it's efficient with how small it is, meaning that it barely takes up more room than a micro USB. I'm now fully on board with everything having USB-C, but it's still pretty messy, and I'll leave some really good reads in links in the video description that you should definitely check out if you're more interested in this. The main issue is that it's still missing from a lot of places. Voice assistant devices, TVs, games consoles, controllers, cheap tech, all of these things are majorly micro USB supported and not USB-C supported. They really need to be pushed to USB-C to make the transition happen. Include adapters in the box if you have to, charge a little bit more if you have to, just make that change. But the omission that confuses me the most is the unbelievable lack of USB-C on desktop computer components, motherboards in particular. Most computer motherboards have zero Type-C ports, and those that do have maybe one or two if you're really lucky. But why is this? Like, seriously, why is this? I have a separate controller card in my computer, an ugly card that takes up more space and more power just to give me a couple of USB-C ports. I've got more USB-C devices than ever. My phone, but okay, not that one my audio interface, my power bank, my mouse, my capture card, and there are loads more USB-C devices out there like headphones, flash drives, microphones, keyboards, and external storage devices. It used to be that we had to adapt USB-C to USB-A to get it to work, but now I feel like I'm doing the opposite. I feel like we're going backwards. And it's not like there's not enough room on the back of a computer I.O. shield to have USB-Cs. If we have to ditch a couple of USB-As in favor for, of a couple of USB-Cs, why aren't we doing that? They don't have to be the fastest 10, 20 gigabit per second port. You can just replace a USB 3.0, five gigabit per second, a port with a C port that does exactly the same thing. And it's not like this is just rare. It's unheard of for a motherboard on the market to have four USB-C ports, six USB-C ports. It just doesn't happen. But Rai, use a USB-C hub that converts one USB-C into four USB-Cs. They don't exist. I'm telling you, I've hunted high and low ever since like 2016 when USB-C started to become popular. There are no USB-C hubs out there. And it's mind blowing to me that even a niche company hasn't made an expensive one or something like that. There just aren't any USB-C hubs out there. You can get USB-C to many USB-A or USB-C to HDMI, to Ethernet, to SD card reader, but there's no USB-C to just a hub of USB-C ports. And it baffles me that that doesn't exist. I'm having to use more USB-C to A cables than ever, and I feel like that's just backwards. I know Apple gets a lot of crap for just having four or five ports on its MacBook Pro, which I still think is kind of ridiculous, but at least it has multiple USB-Cs, and in a world where USB-C is becoming more ubiquitous, why aren't we seeing more components that have that? I get that we need to have USB-A, and I'm not against that. A lot of the stuff that I use still uses USB-A, so I'm glad that we have that. But on a desktop computer, especially on the sort of desktop computers with ATX motherboards and even EATX motherboards, the fact that we don't have more USB-C ports is staggering. Have you seen Thunderbolt 3? It's awesome. It carries like 40 gigabits per second and extra power and you can get like monitors that you plug your laptop into and it powers the monitor, but it also gives you a USB hub and it sends data to the monitor and there's, there's so much you can do with USB-C. The fact that we're not seeing more of it kind of I'm not going to say it baffles me again because I've said that too much in this video, but it's just horrendous. Right at the start when the Nexus 6P introduced USB-C to the mainstream, I was kind of like, eh, there's not a lot of connectors and it's kind of hard to find a phone that has the charger if you want to take a charger with you and all those kinds of things. Whereas now, a lot of things have USB-C. Phones are pretty much entirely USB-C, apart from the, the obvious one. And having to use USB-C to A cables just it just feels backwards to me. So let me know what you think in the comments because obviously lots of different people can have different opinions on this. And with that, that concludes my USB-C video. So yeah, 
a little bit more of an expression as opposed to an explainer, but I wanted to get it off my chest. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do like, dislike, comment, and subscribe to never miss a video like this one. And also check out all my social medias, which will be in the video description as always. I want to give a massive shout out to my patrons for being awesome and continually supporting me in this trying time. I've been Ryan Thomas, and I'll see you later. Peace.